So the whole internet is freaking out. Apparently Pope Francis said some stuff and, um, and the church is changing her teaching after 2000 years. <laughs> I thought maybe I would just add some clarity. Every time I see a headline like, oh, the church is, is reversing her teaching on whatever, you know, every couple of months um, from so-called experts in, you know, CNN News and all these different people who aren't actually Catholic and have no real understanding of how the church operates and has not actually ever changed her teachings in 2000 years. I get a little bit of a chuckle, but I just wanted to put everyone at ease. You know, Pope Francis had um, made some comments in a documentary in Spanish, uh, which were translated into English. And um, based on that translation, people had the assumption that the church is changing her teaching on same-sex marriage and homosexual attraction and behavior, all that kind of stuff. Um, here's, I just want to read what the quote is, okay? Because you see that you've probably seen the, the headlines, like, you know, uh, Pope Francis is endorsing same-sex unions, and, um, you know, the Catholic Church is reversing her teaching on homosexuality or whatever. Uh, and, and it's, like, baffling to me that um, people can draw the conclusions that they do from this. But I just want to read, I just want to read what the quote actually was, and then we'll talk about it real quick. Okay, so... Pope Francis said this in the documentary in Spanish. He said, homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God. You can't kick someone out of a family, nor make their life miserable for this. What we have to do is have a civil union law. And that way they are legally covered. Okay, so... <clears throat> This is actually what the Catholic Church has consistently taught since, I don't know, 2,000 years ago. Um, that, you know, we have to love everyone, no matter their struggles, no matter, um, you know, what their inclinations, what, you know, who they are. We're, we are all created by God, and we are all called to be part of the family. We can't kick someone out of a family because of a particular uh, whatever. You know, it's, we, are all, we all need to be part of a family. And I think Pope Francis is just kind of reiterating that in a charitable way. Where we get into a little bit of a tricky situation is the second part of his quote where he says, um, what we need to do is have a civil union law, and that way they are legally covered. Now this, this again, as I said, this was originally um, in Spanish. And from my understanding of Spanish, which is very little, um, but from what I have basically heard explained from this translation is that it's a very poor one. Like more, more accurately to what he said, it would be something more along the lines of like, we need to have um, a civil regulation or civil guidelines and that way they are like legally protected. I mean, protected from what? Um, this doesn't necessarily mean a, a civil union of marriage. What, they, what he means is in the context of his quote is like, they need to be protected from being mistreated from being ostracized, from being kicked out of their families. That's what they need this law to protect them from. And I think in the context of that, this makes total sense. Now, um, a couple of things to mention. When, I mean, Pope Francis speaks off the cuff in a private conversation with somebody in an interview, um, he might make a mistake. He, he might say something not in the best way, communicating something poorly even, maybe even speaking in error. That's... That's possible, because guess what? Uh, he's a human. <laughs> uh, he wasn't speaking uh, ex cathedra, you know, putting out a dogmatic statement. He was just talking, you know, and so that's okay. He might have made a mistake. Um, probably what really happened is he was quoted, and that quote got translated into a different language and then taken out of context. And guess what? The news media does that all the time, and uh, we shouldn't be surprised at that. Um, Probably, you know, uh, clarification is a good thing. Um, maybe we'll see that. Maybe we won't. But I just want to put everyone at ease. Here's the thing. The Catholic Church has never changed dogma in 2,000 years. No essential teachings of the Catholic Church have ever changed or been reversed in 2,000 years. We're not going to start now. <laughs> Um, the Pope, uh, in and of himself, actually doesn't have that ability to reverse or change dogma. It's not possible. And so um, let's not be worried. Let's not fret about like these CNN 
Post or CBC News or Global or Time Magazine. We, like all of these different headlines, like we don't need to be worried about them because guess what? Sin is still sin. Um, we are still called to love one another despite our sin and uh, do that in a charitable way. So there you go. Hope that clarifies for you.